Okay, there we go. All right, so um, I got something in the mail today that uh, is pretty awesome. Um, something I've been looking forward to for, for quite some time. And I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. So, uh, well, that's good. We'll get right to it here. So, uh, we're going to go and take a look at uh, Quest Rest. Um, this is an original Game Boy game. It's a homebrew game. Brand new game just came out for the Game Boy um, system. So this was uh, created by John Rue. Uh, on Twitter, it goes by uh, the Retro Room Rue. Um, so he sent this to me for uh, for review. Um, I want to thank him very much for providing this for review for the channel. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> unbox this and uh, see what's all included here. Uh, so I'm actually going to use the... There we go. Okay. So here's the box. It's a very nice box. There's the back of it. Your city has been thrown into a living nightmare. It has become the latest city to fall victim to the evil crime boss Athena and her gang. Can you restore the city to its former glory? It's up to you recently promoted Detective Bennett. Prove your worth. Take your take down this criminal mastermind and save your city from the terrifying clutches of Athena. You're the only person who is willing to make a change. You aren't sure who to turn to for help, so you go at it alone. The city's future depends on you. So, as you can tell, it 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 kind of looks like might be like a uh, uh, tribute to Pokemon, and I mean it's it's totally different. I mean it it's it's got its vague similarities, but it's definitely a game on its own. It's amazing. Um, so, and this is not a game for kids. You can see here, gun, crime, death, foul language, uh, no nudity. So all well, these. There's that at least. <laughs> All right, let's go and open this up here. Okay, so you open it up, and these are available for purchase as well. Um, he is doing a second production run. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, that's that's too bad. But anyway, um, he's doing a second production run of this. Uh, the link to purchase the game will be in the description down below. If you guys want to snag a copy for yourself, um, he is offering. A digital download as well for free, if I'm mistaken, uh, of the ROM. If you have an emulator and want to check it out, it's free to, to, to check out. But if you want a physical copy, you got to buy one. So here's the manual. Oh, it's not going to focus. It's gonna f come on, focus. Thank you. There's the back. So we open it up, and I don't want to don't ruin it too much. But what blew me away is the fact that it's all in color. It's in full, <laughs> full, a full color manual. That is so cool. So you got the controls there. You've got the menu description there. You've got the map. You've got how to save. You got the story. And you've got uh, talks about credibility. You can be, because you can be, you can make um, uh, antagonist or protagonist decisions. So let's put it that way. So you can be a good cop or a bad cop. Uh, how you play the game is completely up to you, which is really cool. All right, so this is kind of cool. So he shows screenshots here of um, of the game in color, how it could look on the Game Boy Color. Hmm. Maybe there's something to this? We'll have to wait and see. Talks about the antagonist and the protagonist. Here is his two-page thank you. It's on to, to thank everybody involved. That's really cool. That's really awesome. I'm not gonna read the rest of that, but that's that's it. So that's the manual. Um, so very cool. So there's a lot that went into this game, and it shows. 
guys, this is, I mean, this is, this looks like it could be on the shelf back in the 90s, just ready to pick up from your local Toys R Us, KB Toys, whatever the case may be. This looks like an official release, and it feels like one. All right, let's get the game out here. So here's the game. Fiddle focus, come on. Focus. There we go. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I mean, it. Yeah, <laughs> made in Texas. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that too. That's cool. All right, and then the little Nintendo seal says... Uh, fish, and it's probably going to be hard to see here. Let me see if I can, there we go. Can I focus on that? Let's change the lenses. There we go. Official John Roo seal. That's so awesome. He's even got the little, little Game Boy sticker there. So, yeah. I mean, it looks like, I mean, aside from, obviously, it's a, it's a generic case. A uh, generic shell, I mean, excuse me. But, um, uh, but actually, hang on one second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take this guy apart. Wrong one. Oh, hang on. I was doing nothing. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so he actually is a tri wing. So I'm going to go ahead and. There it is. That's pretty cool. So those that don't know what an inside of a Game Boy game looks like, <laughs> there you go. Let me go ahead and put this back on. There we go. There we go. So there's a look at uh, the inside. <laughs> and the outside of, uh, of Quest Arrest. Um, this is again available for purchase. And the link to purchase the game will be in the description down below. I do encourage you guys that if you do like the game, consider supporting uh, John Ru in his quest to bring us amazing games like this. Um, if you want this on your Game Boy, you want to play it in your Game Boy Color, you want to play it in your Game Boy. Original Game Boy, you want to play it on your Game Boy Advance SP. You want to play it on your regular Game Boy Advance. You'll play it on your Super Game Boy. It will play on all of those. And it will even play in the Retron 5, uh, which is really cool. And it does support the Super Game Boy um, uh, hardware choice. So it will give you... Because uh, when you plug this into the Super Game Boy, it actually has a colorized version. It, I, I'm pretty sure it's, I want to say, mostly full color. I don't think it's it's quite where like an actual Game Boy Color game would be. Um, so, I mean, there is some, some differences there. But it plays it in color otherwise. So, really cool to, to be able to see that. And... We're actually going to go ahead and see that here in just a second. So I'm going to show you how the game plays um, and show you show it running on both a Game Boy Advance and a, and the Retron 5. So let's take a look and see how the game plays. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit more, a little better. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go into continue. All right, so this is how it plays on the Game Boy Advance. Notice it plays like it was an original Game Boy game. So you, oh, that's right. You need to go ahead and check out the homeless guy. Spare change. Front him. I will kill you. <laughs> oh man, the man hits you. 
Fight or walk away. Let's fight him. All right, so as you can see, this game plays similar to, I guess, Pokemon in a way, but not really in the fact that it's different. You will see why. Radio Fuzz, this is your captain speaking. When confronting an enemy, you have lethal and non-lethal options to choose from. Let's try to stop this criminal with pepper spray. So we've got the option to do pepper spray here. You pepper spray the criminal. It does five damage. The weaker an enemy is, the greater your chances of arrest are. The enemy attacks. If your health reaches zero, you die. If you kill your suspect, you will lose credibility points. So try and arrest the suspect if you can. Credibility points will open new story options. Good cop or bad cop, it is your choice. But first, let's arrest the suspect. So we're going to have to arrest. You attempt an arrest on the suspect. The suspect wiggles out of your grip and he injures himself in the process. Radio noise. Captain, sometimes arresting a suspect can be a difficult process. Try once more. Now the enemy is weak. Okay. You're attempting to arrest. Press the buttons as they appear on the screen. Be quick and don't mess up or you will have to restart. This one should be easy. Go. Okay, left, up, A. Oops. Oh, that was right. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had the wrong button. You gain credibility. Cool. Congratulations, deputy. You made your first arrest. You can you gain credibility for arresting criminals. Sometimes lethal force is necessary. This will decrease your credibility. The public doesn't like it when we shoot people. Arresting people is difficult. They resist and hurt themselves. So best be on your on your toes. Press the select button and then press left to see your stats. So we we'll press select. Oh, be sure to heal and save at the designated save point. If your health reaches zero, it's game over, so pay attention to your health. Go solve crimes throughout the city. So we're in the downtown medical district now. So if I hit select, why is it not working? Select, yeah, select. Oh, there we go, okay. So we got, come on. There we go. So we got stats, items, and maps. So we hit left. You have 24 health. You have 50 credibility. You have items. These are the items you have. And then, oop. Interesting. Oh, I did the wrong button. Okay, if I hit up on map, so it shows you the map. Yeah, because the station issued city maps suck. <laughs> it shows you the map, but it's it's not much to look at. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save since we're done with the tutorial part. Game saved and health restored. Did you buy a PlayStation or an Xbox? <laughs> That's uh, funny. Crime is so bad in the city, police had need to step it up. You seem like a decent cop. I left the stupid key in that place while it burned. Now I'm fucked. <laughs> what are you looking at? Let's fight. The enemy attacks. Make sure make your move. We're gonna shoot him. You shoot the criminal for six. Enemy pistol whips you. Cause three damage. It's going to tase you. Tase the criminal for four damage. Attacks you with fists. We're going to pepper spray him. Pepper spray the enemy for three damage. Enemy attacks you with fists. Cause two damage. We're going to arrest him now. Be weak enough. Oh, really? Whoa. 
be oh, really that again down B down a up there we go you're under arrest you gain credibility okay so we've gone about halfway through the game. I have, I've had the game for a long time. I've had the ROM for a long time, checking it out and and uh, played it while it's while it was still in development. Uh, things have been I haven't played it since it got to this stage, so I'm glad to be able to to check it out and play it play it in its entirety. Um, so this has been a look at uh, Quest Rest. Uh, I've been playing on the Game Boy Advance. Let's go and check it out how it looks on the Retron Five. Okay, so here's Quest Rest on the Retron. Now, I've gone ahead and already applied the uh, Super Game Boy uh, specification. And we're going to go ahead and do yes on, on playing that. Let's say it's going to play in color. Which is really cool to see. I'm going to continue. What do you mean I saved data found? Okay, so we're gonna have to do this then. I'm gonna have to go ahead and go turn to menu. We're gonna go ahead and do game menu. We're gonna do copy save to Retron. We're gonna do yes. It's gonna import the save data. Then we're gonna go ahead and go back. And yes. It should hopefully read the save data. Yep. Okay. This is where we saved last time on the Game Boy Advance. So, I see it plays in full color. Well, not full color, but definitely a lot more color than it was before. I love, absolutely love the, uh, music in this game. What total fuckery is this presented before my eyes? Be careful, I just got robbed. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Alright, what am I doing? Nothing. Robber whispers, why did I let Bob borrow my fucking knife? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's go to this guy up here. Bob left my damn key at the refinery. I locked out of my house. Okay, can't go that way yet. Town center. You can't pass. There's, um, cons construction. Nobody can visit the bank. So there's a cute few typos. But it's okay. It doesn't hurt the gameplay at all. The gameplay is... The game still plays amazingly well. Sparkle bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Frantic woman, thank goodness, officer, please help, ma'am. There's been a murder. There's a body on the edge of the city, and he has a gunshot wound to the, his head. I'll show you. Okay. Edge of town. Move. Do you want to pick up the knife? Pick up the knife. He appears to be shot. On first glance, it appears he was holding a knife that he's using to protect himself. Look closer. What a grim scene of murder. 
He has a pretty nasty gunshot wound right in the neck. It seems the first shot wasn't fatal. This is a gunshot wound to the head. This was the fatal blow. Poor man stood no chance. You check his pulse and it's cold to the touch. No pulse. Check pockets. You find a receipt from the bank. It is made out to the name Bob. A safety deposit box for a golden goblet. Deputy, it appears you found a clue. Unlock more clues to figure out the who murdered this man. Start by questioning any potential witnesses nearby. Question. Good cop. You ask him who did it. It was gang members. You see them around town. They wear the robber's masks. Who are you? I am just a jogger. I was running by when I saw the whole thing. A group of robbers murdered this man. You did not find a clue. Try again. Question. Good cop. Which way? They went in all directions around the city. They're wearing robber's masks, and the leader is a blonde woman. Come to think of it, I think that's one of them right there with the robber's mask. You found a clue! <laughs> you gain five credibility for being good. Well, I haven't ever seen a dead body. So, he's referring to this guy up here. I don't know nothing. Uh huh. I just called the police. Oh, you are the, you're a cop. <laughs> okay, let's come down here. Bridge. Back off, I have a chicken and I'm not afraid to use it. Uh, okay, alright, so you can use the chicken. Alright, cool. Talk to this guy right here. I'll jump. Don't come any closer. Bob's fucking dead. I think he's going to murder me. There's no point in living anymore. Leave me alone, you fucking pig. I hate cops. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Why do you have Bob's papers? I want to help. How the fuck can you help me? Let's talk. They have infiltrated this entire city. They wear robber's masks, and if you get in Athena's way, she will kill you too. You dead? Why? Bob and I worked for Athena. I work at the refinery. Bob worked at the bank. Athena burned down the refinery, and they plan to rob the bank. Come down? I guess I'll come down and head to the hospital. You gain 15 credibility. Cool. I am very sorry, but I am going to die either way. I want it to be my way. With that being said, I love you all. Goodbye. Uh, let's pick up the note. Cool. Alright guys, this has been a look at uh, Quest Rest being played on the, on the Retron 5. Um, I again want to thank the Retro Maru, John Roo, for uh, sending this game for review and unboxing. This game's amazing. I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. And I want to thank you for watching. If you want a copy for yourselves, link to purchase the game will be in the description down below. The quantity is limited, to my understanding. Um, I don't know how many he's going he's gonna to produce, but or they're going to produce. But um, definitely worth having your collection if you guys like what you see and want a physical copy. Um, I want well, to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.